Hello everybody, this is Eddie and I'm back! We're gonna be playing some Ladybug. This is an uh, indie game free uh, on Twitch.io or Twitch.io uh, by King Penguin. And uh, we're at the main menu here. If I press S, S, the eyes light up, which is really cool. Art is great, music is great. Kill them all. I like that. that those three hits there in time with the text, that's really nice. Um, we play as this little bug who has to kill all the scientists before can move on. Um, you can see the controls, uh, they're gone. Um, but there's two buttons, it's X and X, and then Z or C. So both Z and C, as far as I know, do the same thing. Um, but those two buttons are right next to each other, which is kind of difficult to remember. But I did figure out that if you press control, it's the same as Z or C. So X, which is right in the middle, I had trouble remembering that, because they're all like right in a line. So I, I would use controls, so at least it's a little separate. My brain has a little trouble. He had a better time keeping those apart. Uh, you can see he saw me there, got an exclamation point over his head, and then shot like a moment moment afterwards. I can climb into the vent, murder those fools, and move on to the next level. Um, you can, and so the way it works is that when they... Ha! He shot his own guy. Oh, dang it, then he got me. Uh, when they have the exclamation point over their head, they are aware of your presence and thus have a much faster reaction time. Um, and so you have a, a, a split second when the exclamation point of, oh, that's a bug that I've had happened to me before a couple times here, where I actually managed to sneak up on that section where there is no platform. Um, you have a split second reaction, ah, dang timing when they don't have, um, when the uh, exclamation point appears before they actually shoot, and you sometimes, sometimes you have to utilize that to make your move, other times you have to know that you don't have time to make a move and kill them, so you have to hang back during that time and expect to try to dodge bullets like I did right there, because otherwise if you make a move too quickly, um, they'll be able to, uh, they'll wait a second until, and then aim right on you when you are unable to dodge. Um, if you are... So, there's a couple things about the... Now, let's talk about the controls, right? So, I mentioned those buttons are next to each other, so I use control instead. Um, because I'm on Windows. I don't know if this is for available for anything other than Windows. I should have looked that up. Damn it, I'm sorry. Um, we have this... Is, so, when you're walking and not pressing... Not clinging to the wall, floor, or ceiling, you can come up against a corner, and you will not do anything. When you are crouching, you can still walk on a floor just fine, and as a matter of fact, you move faster. And when you come across a corner of a ceiling and wall, or floor and wall, uh, you automatically loop around it. So, in general, I don't ever have a time where I need to let go of the crouch button. So, and it's just confusing to know when I need to have it pushed and not, and trying to, trying to just go from a standing position to a jumping position, and then hitting the control button in mid-air to climb to a wall. I was having so much trouble with it until I realized there's no reason. Just don't ever let go of control. Now, if you when you jump from a standing position, uh, as opposed to clinging to the floor, you will jump about this high. When you has control, as the tooltip said a minute ago, you'll be able to go much higher if you hold the uh, control button. But if I wanted to go jump small and I was clinging to a wall, I could just tap it and I jumped small, just like I was standing. So I have to ask the developers, why even include this at all? I think you should be remaining, remain a crouched wall clinging uh, alien for the forever. And just make, if they need to do a small jump for a puzzle, platforming puzzle, um, just have them tap it and then hold it if you want a big jump. Because as it stands right now, it's just very confusing as a beginner, and I end up holding the control button forever anyways. Um, so the name of the game is, of course, Don't Get Caught. Right, so there I had to jump not... Here's the tricky part, right? I don't, ha I sh I don't jump when he sees me, I jump when he shoots. And there's a slight difference. That was close. And that's the key. That, was, that took me a really long time to figure out, and not in a bad way. That was a good way. And I overshot it. The thing with the controls and learning to never let go of control took me a long time and I was getting frustrated and I um, was ready to say that this game is a controls nightmare um, when that is not the case. Jumped right into the bullet. Uh, it's just you gotta... They just 
I think it was poorly designed controls. The actual mechanics and, and movement and everything are not bad. Uh, another thing I should say about the game that I think could use improvements, now keep in mind this is an Itch.io game distributed for free, very indie, um, possibly a proof of concept for a larger game. I would definitely support that. I would be willing to pay uh, for a larger version, more featureful version of a game like this. Uh, I'm li liking it a lot now that I have it under my fingers. Um, and the font for that kill them all, that's really cool. Okay, you gotta try you gotta try to bait them to shoot early. Which is interesting. Not many stealth killing games. They're usually based around speed and knowing when to when to like, you know, based on enemy's vision, waiting until they're patrolling in a certain direction. This is very much not the case. They're always watching. Um, it's like you gotta learn get the it's almost like a, it's almost like you gotta get learn the the beat to which they shoot and utilize that somehow. Like stay moving but not Okay, this is hard. So, okay, that's not how you do it. Maybe I can do it like this. Well, that kind of worked. Oh, a little early. Um, but, so, when I started the game, it starts in full screen mode. And, um... Whoop! <laughs> and, um, no menu, no options. Um, I had to sort of modify the, um, audio settings. For the game in uh, the Windows Mixer, not in. Uh, oh boy. Ah, that's too bad. There's no saving of your progress at all either, which, again, for a game like this, I, it's not really that big of a complaint, to be honest with you. Um, that's, uh, I can tell you, as someone who's worked as a game developer in the past, um, stuff like that introduces a lot of problems. So, you know, for, for a game that could potentially just be treated as a proof of concept, that's totally fine. Because what they have is really polished, and that's the main point I want to get across. It's something that, in my opinion, is the key thing to separate out a good indie, small indie title uh, from, a, from a bad one. Um, sometimes people will attempt to... Uh, include all sorts of features, even features that you would normally think you have to have in any game, always, like saving, right? Um, and sometimes, indie games, when, you know, you could say, oh, you have to do fully-fledged feature, uh, I mean, sorry, options menus, you have to include, well, any number of things that, like, every good game should have, right? What you would think of as the bare bones. And that's always a good thing, it's always nice when they have it, but most importantly, an indie game needs to stand out and be a, a, fully, a concept that is fully fleshed out, and this is exactly what that is. There's very few mechanics. Cling to walls, um, jumping, you know, there's the platforming and with the wall clinging. There's the um, uh, using enemies to shoot each other with bullets, which, unfortunately, I'm not sure if it's buggy or if it just doesn't, uh... I'm not sure if, it, if it's buggy or if it's meant to be a sort of an RNG thing, because oftentimes I'll get it so that bullets clearly pass through enemy heads and doesn't kill them. Um, so I'm not sure if that's, uh, like, a specific design choice or not. Like, maybe they hit the guy in the head, maybe the bullet managed to pass right through and, you know, shoot around him or something. So, uh, but they just, they polish it really well. It feels good, it's very responsive. Obviously, right, they didn't put too much work into the art, aside from the character models and the, uh, and the enemy. The character model, the enemy, and that, like, cool font in the menu. Right, great concept art. It's really clear to see the theme. Um, the feeling is there when, that, when you press S to start on the menu, right? That's all you do. All you do is you push the underlined button. The un the, oh, nice. Good, that guy. All you do is you push the um, underlined letter on the menu. So S S for start, Q for quit. That's all you get. And uh, it's simple, but but then the eyes open up, and you you feel it, and you're like, oh, okay, right? You open up to a little thing, about, uh, and it introduces introduces you through some in-game tutorials. Oh, nice! I killed that guy again. Ah, man, and from there, it's pretty much it. Um, you get the point, and it's all about executing 
you know, figuring out the exact mechanics of the game and, and actually executing, uh, which is totally fine. And it doesn't need too much else, right? There are games that have looked better. There are stealth games that have looked better. There are games that have got m more rich mechanics set. But when you're releasing a game that's going to be on itch.io and be for free and all that other stuff, why deliver a buggy or non-polished and really rough-seeming game where you're sort of comparing it to bigger games in the same genre? Because, like, I could try to compare this to, like, a Super Meat Boy or something, right? Because it's sort of the same. It's not stealth, but it's, it's precision timing-based and stuff. And you could say, that was indie as well, but that was, a, you know, not a free free game or anything. And I could try to compare it. If it tried to include all the same features, I would be comparing the two. Now I don't even need to. I can just see this as the simple sort of one-dimensional idea that it is. And that, I mean that in a good way, not in like a bad way. One-dimensional. Um, and really enjoy it. Ah, suppose, of course it's kicking my butt right now, this one level. Um, I recently played a story about my uncle, which had two main things to it. It had his aesthetic and storytelling. I'm roping those two together because, I don't know, they're, they're kind of similar, kind of an artistic thing. And then it had the grappling and physics-based, and those two things were great. Now, there wasn't a crazy UI for it, there wasn't all that many more features to it, but those two things were really polished and led to an awesome indie game. iZbot, another game that I played recently, uh, the platforming was really polished, and that's one that you could totally compare to Super Meat Boy. Um, but think about all the features and cool little doodads that Super Meat Boy had that iZbot didn't. But iZbot was, uh, you know, not in the same tier of games. They weren't charging the same amount of money. Actually, that might not be the case. I can't remember how much Super Meat Boy... I guess I shouldn't say that. I could be totally wrong about that. Um, I'm trying, what are some game? What are some other games that I got from um, Twitch? Oh, uh, Dolly was a game that I played a while ago. Similar thing. It went. It went. Uh, it was messing around with the the um, I guess what I would maybe call a double exposure or like limited visibility um, art, art style. They got that going for them. It looked really cool. Did it? I think it did. Oh, man. I think it did its job, um, and they sort of told it a little story without any words. And the platforming was incredibly easy, and it was it was nowhere near as hard as this. Um, Deadbolt was one where I actually first talked about this. That was another uh, Ichio game. First time I actually ever mentioned this um, idea of a single polished thing. Guns. You, you had guns. You had to shoot the enemies. You had to clear the stage. Very much like this game. Thing is. They were, you had to sort of mess with the mechanics to figure out how to do it, right? You had to figure out how how far away can enemies hear you shoot a shotgun and thus are aggro them. So when should you use the shotgun if you want to bait enemies out of a room? That was like a, a kind of a hidden mechanic that helped you solve the puzzle. And But the actual shooting wasn't hard. You just aimed at their head and clicked it really quickly. Um, but it was just a single idea of clear the enemies climb through the vents, pick your weapon, and, and sort of learn the really simple differences between the weapons. And that's what makes a good indie game, that's really what it is. You pick an idea, pick a, th you pick a th simple theme, pick a simple m mechanic that is you don't see very often, or that has never been applied to the genre or the theme, um, and uh, just complete that. And if you finish that, don't even add anything else. Just polish it over and over again until it becomes idiot-proof to understand, and everyone will appreciate it. Now, if you're trying to go for something that's going to redefine a certain industry or make give your company a brand new name as opposed to just something you're sort of fiddling around with, uh, obviously you probably want to be a little bit more bold than that. But it's why I like indie games, is because I can sit down for a couple hours, play it, Play something that I've never seen before, uh, and and not sort of go through this the same BS I've been through a hundred times in in other games that are sort of all recreating the same formula. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna leave this here. I think you get the point. Um, obviously, I'm not too many levels into it right now. I'm doing really poorly. I think when I played this the other day, there's no saving, right? So I've already done all this. Uh, I got about this far. I think I may have completed this level and got stuck on the next. Um, ooh, wait, this, this guy is... Ah! Yes, finally. Here's an example where, ow, oh, shoot, where you can't, you're not um, supposed to jump very high. See how sometimes the bullet kills that guy and sometimes it doesn't? It's kind of not obvious if it should, though. The next level is uh, one where, whoops, what did I do that for? Ah. Next level is one where um, there's an opportunity to really easily kill your enemies with their own bullets, and it sometimes works out, sometimes it doesn't. Ah, that was much easier doing it like that. Wait for that exclamation point to go away. So it looks like, yeah, that's the, th okay, so you just have to be a little bit more aware than I was being of when they have that exclamation point and when they don't. Alright, I'll do this next level. This guy's patrolling. I don't think we've seen any moving guys before. Adds a little element to it. But it's a little bit more difficult than stay out of their line of vision. So here's one, right? So that that was an example where that, that second, that guy walking away from me should have totally been killed by his own bullet. And that's what I try to do. Because that guy's always facing this way, so... I try to go here, and then sometimes it happens, other times it doesn't. It, it, Obviously, it seems like it doesn't happen. It happens less frequently than it, it seems like it should. But this is the part that I could never get past, that one hallway. Whoops, sometimes. I got uh, my one problem. I'm gonna, I've been playing a lot of platformers recently. I'm trying to uh, move away from them. IZ bot and uh, story about my uncle. Um, you're gonna, I have a couple more platformer games. Ah, I almost got to slaughter all three of them. A couple more platformer games coming up on the channel. <sighs> but my problem with them is that I play them for like, uh, you know, uh, an hour and then I never want to play them again because I either get stuck or I uh, understand the mechanics and it's too easy or... It's sort of like there is no good middle ground for me personally, that's kind of my personal preference. Either I complete the whole thing with no trouble and... and, and never want to play it again, or it gets hard, and then I don't care to grind out the same... See, there it happened. Maybe... No, that didn't do anything. So maybe it's just a timing thing, like, what happens if we wait till that guy walks this way, and then these guys get lined up, and then... Kill them at once, and then that guy. Well, that works pretty easily. Now, here's a great example, right? Okay, and then we're this way. Yeah, we miss us. So it looks like if they don't have an exclamation point and you run at them. Oh, that'll be tricky. So, so maybe I just hadn't experimented with the mechanics enough, and this actually isn't that as hard as I uh, thought it would be. So right here, they're lined up. Okay, wait till the exclamation point goes away, and then I can beat his reaction time. Um, maybe, hold on, hold on, let's do this instead. I think this is, we're gonna drop on him. Ah, that was so close. Oops. Well, maybe I'll play a little bit more of this. Um, but uh, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm back on the channel now, so I'll see you guys, uh, see you guys more soon. More info about the schedule and stuff coming soon. Right, one last try, one last try.